I'm Tina Tomato. Last year, I had the honor of experiencing both breakout and purging from using new products. And before experiencing both of them, I really had a hard time telling the difference between the two. So in this video, I'm going to share my experiences with you with real photos and videos, and hopefully that will help you to get clarity on what you have. Hopefully you don't have any of them. So first of all, I'm going to talk about my skin condition because I think it's important for us to have a reference point so that we can judge the severity of these two different types of reactions. So I am 29 years old and my skin is pretty sensitive and oily and I used to have acne prone skin but as I get older, I don't get a lot of acne anymore except for the occasional hormonal acne that I get on my chin and around my jawline usually before, during and after my period. So here is a footage of my skin back in spring 2019 and this is when my skin was totally clear and there was not a single spot on my face. And then in the summer of 2019, I started to use the SK2 treatment essence with Patera. And the reason I started using it is because I wanted my skin to be tighter, firmer, more refined, shrink my pores and also increase my skin turnover rate so that my skin can be more glowy and more youthful. <laughs> Within a few days, the bumps and redness started to appear. The pimples first started in the T-zone area, and then migrated to the cheeks, temples, and then I even started getting nodules on my nose, which has not happened in more than 10 years. I remember I used to get this kind of acne back when I was a teenager, and it definitely brought back a lot of memories. I have a giant cystic acne on my nose, and I need to go into work tomorrow. I have one here, Oh my god, they're so obvious. I continued using the SK2 essence on my face for four months because at the time I thought I was having a purge. The mild acne became even more intense and soon I was getting cystic acne on my cheeks. And the skin around each acne was quite inflamed and red. And most importantly, it was physically painful, which made me constantly aware that I had acne on my face. This was a breakout because the acne appeared in places that I usually don't get acne in. And when the first pimple popped up on my nose, that's when it should have been clear to me. The product that I was using was not just increasing skin turnover, it was doing something else that my skin just did not agree with. And within a month or two after stopping the SK2, the acne stopped and my skin slowly recovered and went back to normal. And of course, I was left with a few battle scars on my face. <laughs> Then I wanted to experiment with retinol because I still wanted to shrink pores and now I also want to fade those acne scars that I got from the previous product. So I got a 0.2% retinol from The Ordinary. Retinol also increases skin turnover, so as expected, it did cause some reaction as well. But what's different this time is that the acne was a lot more surface level and they were not painful. And they were pretty much contained in the upper lip and chin area which is where I usually get acne. And the lifetime of these acne are very short and usually they will disappear within one or two days. I've been using the retinol for the past four months and the most acne I will get will be a couple of whiteheads around my lips. And these whiteheads are not inflamed, they don't hurt and they are very easily washed off. That's right, a lot of them will just disappear after I wash my face. My experience with a 0.2% retinol is very painless and drama free. And I think this is what purging should be. And of course, that is in reference to my own original skin condition. So that is my experience with breakout and purging from using new products. And if you have similar skin as me and you're currently experiencing breakout, I have a separate video on how I recovered from my breakout and the type of product I use to get my skin back on track. Thank you for watching this video. I am Tina Tomato and I'll see you in the next one.